Oh man, the good news just keep coming in for these Baltimore Ravens, baby. Team, keep it clean. I love you. Hey, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss nothing. Subscribe and turn your notifications all the way on. Let's get into it because, as y'all know, our secondary been beat up, banged up, bruised up, battered, and just it's been rough. It's been really rough, but today it got a little better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so happy, man. I'm just so happy, man, because Arthur Millette, who the Ravens signed this offseason, he's back at practice. Jalen Armour Davis, who the Ravens drafted last offseason, he's back at practice. But the Ravens, well, before Marlon went out, he was going to be their number two corner. Well, we expected him to be their number two. Well, by the way that they paying him, he was going to be the number two corner. But anyway, the man who was going to be the Ravens' number two corner, he's been out for a while. But now, essentially, I mean, guess he's going to be that number one guy, Rock Yassine. And Rock Yassine has been out longer than all those guys. And now he's back. He's back. Rock Yassine is back in the building. So this is a beautiful thing because the Ravens, they just signed Ronald Darby um, a few days back. So that should be a solid addition. Uh, and Ravens should be in some good shape to hold it down um, until Marlon Humphrey returns. Again, like we talked about, a lot more is going to be put on the offense. But speaking of offense, we got even more great news because this was my favorite news of the day. Uh, and I don't mean to be partial or anything like that, but this was my favorite update from today. Said it from Jameson Hensley. He said it. Ravens. <laughs> you could tell I, I, I'm on. I'm on the Mitchell train. It said Ravens undrafted rookie running back Keaton Mitchell is back. Back practicing after leaving Monday night's preseason game with a shoulder injury. He's been impressive this summer. Yes, he has. Keaton Mitchell is back. So, hey, all them people, all them people who told y'all that Google is false when it comes to medical stuff, when it comes to medical information, don't listen to none of them. Don't listen to none of them. Because y'all remember in, in, in the video that we did a few days back where we talked about Keaton Mitchell's injury being a, a shoulder stinger. We looked it up on Google right then and there. Like, how long is he going to be out for? How long do shoulder stingers take to heal? And some of the stuff said one or two weeks. But some of it said, hey, it could be a couple hours. It could even just be a couple days. And they may be good. But this is great news for Keaton Mitchell specifically. And let's talk about him for a little bit. Keaton Mitchell. Um, Rocky Singh, he, he is already on the roster. He, his spot is safe, is secure. Jalen Armour Davis, in my opinion, I think his spot is actually safe too. Um, it, it's in a weird spot. It's not... 100 but it's, it's i think it's pretty safe arthur Millette's spot is is not safe um but we'll see what happens but with keaton mitchell he is in a very tricky position because he would make raven's job a lot easier if his injury was serious because had it been serious ravens could be like oh okay well we got our running backs we ain't got to have no competition we ain't got to worry about it we got our guys already we are set my mic was upset but we are set because they could have been like all right we got jk Dobbins, we got gus edwards we got justice hill we got melvin, melvin gordon hey we good to go keaton mitchell was in competition with those guys but now since he's out with injury oh well, well, unfortunate but we ain't got to worry about it no more but now since he's back this is good for him because this can help him earn that spot on the roster like so many of us really want him to get especially myself uh, I feel like Keaton Mitchell, well, I, I wouldn't expect him to have some big, huge, enormous impact at running back this year for the Baltimore Ravens. I, I wouldn't expect that. I think that would not be, um, I don't want to say it wouldn't be wise, but I just, I don't think it would be a fair expectation for him this upcoming season, simply because of everything and everyone that's currently in front of him. But the possibility of him making an impact on maybe special teams, uh, possibly, and you know what? Would they have four running backs active on game day? No, nah, probably not. So there could be some times where he would be inactive, but it could be one of those stay ready so you ain't got to get ready type things. 
We love J.K. Dobbins. We love Gus Edwards. But we also know their injury history. We know it. And especially with J.K. Dobbins, it's been an extensive injury history, uh, unfortunately. So with the Ravens in their running back room, uh, the more the merrier. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor more the merrier, but the more the merrier. So if they keep four, I could see them keeping four. I, I, I could see them doing that, especially since possibly two of them play special teams, just as Hill and Keaton Mitchell. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But um, getting back to the cornerbacks, um, it's just nice, man. It, it's it's nice to get. More depth back in the secondary Especially the quality of it Since the quality of it is going up Rock is seen uh, That improves the quality of the, the Ravens cornerbacks A lot from everybody that had been missing before And even everybody that was out there But having Rock is seen back is big Now uh, Ravens got this game in Tampa in a couple of days uh, I don't expect him to, to be playing um, I think they'll just hold him out till week one But that's big That's, that's, that's really big news uh, that they got their number two, or kind of maybe number one guy now back. And whether they, I guess, him between him and Ronald Darby, number one, number two, whatever, they got him back. Now, um, some guys who weren't practicing, obviously Marlon Humphrey, but Geno Stone. Geno Stone wasn't practicing. Tyler Huntley still isn't practicing. Uh, we talked about it on the stream. I, this, me, again, I'm an NFL outsider. No plugs, no contacts, no connects. But I expect him to be back this week. That's just me, though. That's just me. I don't mean, know nothing from nothing. I ain't heard nothing from nobody, nothing. I expect Tyler Huntley to be back this week. That's just me, my own little inclination. That's it. Uh, but he's not back yet. Marlon Humphrey obviously is still out. But Mark Andrews, he is not practicing uh, today. No concerns uh, with anybody on this list. Maybe Geno Stone a tiny bit, but maybe he's just a little banged up from the game and whatnot. Maybe that's it. But I ain't, I ain't worried about none of this on this list. Obviously, Marlon Humphrey just had the surgery, so it's expected that he's out. Uh, Tyler Huntley's still dealing with his thing. Mark Andrews, well, who knows what it is? Because he, he did, obviously didn't play in any of the preseason games, and he's been practicing. I mean, he's out there slamming people on the <laughs> I was slamming people on the ground the other day, but so Mark Andrews, I'm sure he's good. So I ain't, I ain't worried about that. And with Geno Stone, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he'll be uh, he'll be good as well. So yeah, man, this is uh, really really good news for these Baltimore Ravens. I'm just uh, making sure that I ain't miss nothing before we get on up out of here. But I love it. I love it. Um, it's always nice to get good news. It's always nice to get great news. And with the Ravens, this is it's been this flow, this flow of great news that they've been getting, uh, especially when it comes to injuries, because uh, we've been the recipients of the not so great news, the terrible news, the bad news, uh, the awful news when it comes to injuries over the years. Um, obviously, the year where they lost Gus Edwards and Marcus Peters on the same day. Uh, lost J.K. Dobbins, but one that I forget about, too, that I don't mention enough, that same year they lost Justice Hill, too. They lost Justice Hill, too. So we always get so caught up in talking about when they lost J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards, and those were obviously big losses, but they lost Justice Hill the same year. And I, I remember that day when they lost Justice Hill, I was taking a walk. I was taking a walk. Just walking, exercising, feeling good, trying to better myself and whatnot. Like, okay, yeah, I'm good. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Walking, walking. My phone start going off a little bit. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm checking in a little bit. Keeps going off like crazy, like crazy, like crazy. And I look, and they say, oh, Justice Hill suffered an injury. Then it came out that he was going to be out for the year. I'm like, oh, okay. That's that year where them hits just kept on coming. They kept on coming, and Ravens fought. They kicked, they scratched, they clawed, but they just they, they, they couldn't withstand all the injuries and all the, the injuries that they suffered and everybody that they lost that year. So hopefully this is the year, man. This is the year where they can both get healthy and stay healthy because obviously we've got some more guys coming back from injury. But um, hopefully this is the one, man. This is the one because if they can, I really do believe they can be a Super Bowl team. They really can. If they can stay healthy, they can match up with anybody. They can rock with anybody. They can mess with anybody, man. Anybody. Anybody. Whether it be Chiefs, Bills, Bengals, Jets, Dolphins, whatever, whoever. They can mess with anybody. We know they can lose anybody, too. 
It's any given Sunday, but seriously, they, they, they can rock with anybody. Um, so we just hope that the Ravens have their health this year because that is, whew, that is the biggest thing right there. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn your notifications on. Uh, leave a like on the video too. And again, like I always say, hopefully you're liking what you see. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos. And I, I really appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all time because we spend a lot of time together. Whether you know it or not, we spend a whole lot of time together every single day. Every single day. So I really do appreciate y'all doing that Whether you're on the way to work, whether you're on the way to school Whether you're on the way back from work or school Or wherever you're going, whatever you're doing Even if you're chilling at the house, you're washing dishes, you're cleaning up Whatever you're doing You know what? We ain't did this in a long time If you made it to this part of the video, just put in the comment section Put whatever it is that you're doing while you're watching the video So, just curious, man Just want to know what y'all doing while y'all watch these videos But I appreciate y'all, whatever you're doing I appreciate you watching the videos, I love you And just like Jalen Armour Davis Just like Arthur Millette, just like Rocky Cena, just like Keaton Mitchell, no longer are when it comes to uh, being in, well, no, just like they no longer are, yeah, when it comes to being in practice, we out. <laughs>